The dreams of dozens of aspiring college football players deflated. Those players came from all over the country for a prep program connected to Atlanta Technical College. And as Fox Eyes Rob DiRienzo reports, they eventually found out they weren't actually in a legitimate college program at all. The allegations against the Atlanta Trailblazers include fake checks and broken promises. About 50 aspiring players came to Atlanta from all over the country looking to shoot their shot at a college football career. Now, some of them are stuck here. It hurts. It hurts bad. 21-year-old Keyshawn Williams came to Atlanta from New York to chase his love for football at a prep program at Atlanta Technical College. The program was abruptly ended and since he's been sleeping in his car. Uh, I don't have any other options right now. Um, honestly, the car is my best option and my only option. I think there were a few red flags along the way that a lot of us assistant coaches just didn't pay attention to. At first, the players ended up staying at the Spring Hill Suites in Buckhead. <laughs> we were practicing in a parking garage of the hotel. Williams said they were promised jobs and that they would help find them permanent housing. They told us that we were going to be staying in student housing. They were going to help us get jobs at Mercedes-Benz, uh, Amazon, Apple. Here's what the program's founder had to say. We couldn't get guys in position to work fast enough where they were making enough money uh, to cover their rent. But then assistant coach Miles Jackson said things began to unravel. Paychecks signed by someone named Shirlene Miller began to bounce. Then they found out the school had nothing to do with any of this. In a statement to Fox 5, Atlanta Technical College said it does not offer athletic programs and is in no way affiliated with William McDonald nor his football program. You scam players and coaches out of their time. I have a newborn baby that was just born in November. I could have been here with him. That's not who I am. That's not who I you know, want to be portrayed to be. And I know because of this now, like I, I can never have, you know, a, um, a career in athletics again. Williams, that player I talked with, says tonight he plans on sleeping in his car yet again unless he figures something else out. As for the bad paychecks, the college says its police department has launched a fraud investigation. In Atlanta, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News. All right, thanks, Rob. Let's